Hey guys, it's Corey with 10 Best Ones. And today we've decided to review the five best options for you. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. Let's get started. We are going to start this list with the best budget option that you can get your hands on. Number five, Presona's Eris E3.5. Presona's Eris E3.5 are two-way active media reference monitor speakers that use some of the same technology as the larger Eris series studio reference monitors, but these are very small and found an immediate home on either side of my 29-inch ultra-wide LG computer monitor screen. Coupled with a one-inch silk dome tweeter, the system has a wide dispersion pattern of sound that Presona says creates a large optimal listening area. The left Aris E3.5 monitor speaker has the entire 25 watt per channel class AV amplifier and separate high and low frequency tone controls, but I didn't have to adjust anything when using them in my studio's control room. I like the front panel on-off switch and also the single volume control for both left and right, and the right monitor speaker simply connects using a single included speaker wire, no need of additional AC power for that speaker. With the Eris E3.5's gain set to Unity, the U in the middle of the dial, you can comfortably monitor your mix at an appropriate level, but still have plenty of extra volume to spare so that runaway transients, momentary loud peaks, sound louder instead of just distorting at the same relative volume. It's hard to express just how readily this easily overlooked feature of the Eris E3.5 can save your mix. If you need to fine-tune your sound to achieve a flat frequency response, you'll find fully variable high and low frequency controls on the pack that lets you boost or cut up to 6 decibels in their respective ranges. What's more, Presonas outfitted their Eris E3.5 studio monitors with unbalanced RCA as well as balanced TRS inputs, so you can connect them directly to just about any sound source in your studio. You also get an aux input for connecting your smartphone or media player, and a headphone output for private listening. Now that you have a clear idea of what your Presona's Eris E3.5 studio monitors can do for you, you'll have no trouble in setting them up in your studio. The physical size of the monitors means they can fit into any space and are ideal for smaller home studios. This next option is one of the best sounding models out there. Number 4. Logitech Z625 Logitech upgraded their older Z623 speaker to feature an optical port and branded it the Z625. The optical port opens for a wider array of connectivity options, such as the ability to hook them up to a TV or console directly. While these speakers are perfect for movie watching and casual gaming, their ability to belt out good music was surprising to say the least. Let's face it, good desktop 2.1 speakers are quite difficult to come by, so when a particular speaker system starts generating positive buzz, especially for being gaming and console focused, we can't help but be curious. The Logitech Z625, as it turns out, is the updated version of its predecessor, the now good old Z623. By updated, we mean that it's mostly the exact same speaker, except for the one important addition of an optical input. The optical input might not sound like a big deal, at least not as much as warranting a new SKU, but the fact is, it greatly expands the use case scenarios for these speakers. With one seemingly innocuous addition, your console or your TV can be connected to it via a more efficient and usually higher quality connectivity mechanism. Those who take pride in their Game Center's appearance will find a lot to like in the Z625. The subwoofer is plain and black, blending with whatever setting it's in. Speakers themselves are streamlined and attractive with a distinctive shape that nevertheless doesn't draw attention away from their overall surroundings. The lighting can be distracting, but of course you have control over how intense that gets. While the Z625 can handle any sound you throw at it from any source, its primary purpose is as a PC gaming accessory. With rich sound for both games and music, a novel design and lots of ways to customise your experience, the Z625 is a worthwhile investment for gamers who prefer wide open sound to the confines of a headset. Next up, we have a model which gives you the best value for your money. Number 3. Logitech G560 some would argue RGB is a gimmick that offers very little when it comes to an actual improvement in gaming, especially in a pair of computer speakers. Most of the time we'd agree with that statement, but Logitech's G560 light sync feature is anything but gimmicky. If there's one RGB product we'd recommend that might actually improve your PC gaming experience, it's this one. With more than two decades of experience making speakers, we had some very high expectations for Logitech's G560. 
They might not be the best for the modern audiophile, but we can confidently say these are the most immersive speakers we've tested for gaming. The G560 features six high-powered RGB LEDs per speaker, four face in the rear and two for the front. At maximum brightness, they can be a little distracting in a dark room, but a nifty button at the top of the right speaker lets you turn it down or turn them off completely. You get the same rainbow colour cycle that also acts as an audio visualiser that flashes and brightens to the beat of music being played. Switching over to software control allows you to choose between fixed colour, colour cycle, breathing, audio visualiser and screen sampler. While the lighting was a huge factor in the immersion aspect, the precision of the positional audio really impressed us too. We don't normally like the virtual surround of 7.1 digital gaming headsets, but were pleasantly surprised with how well DTS-X worked with the G560, especially while trying to pinpoint where we were being shot at in Fortnite. It's the perfect compromise if you want surround sound without the hassle of a 5.1 or 7.1 set. However, if you don't have any downstairs neighbours and like your audio loud, the G560 might just be perfect. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner-up for this list. Number 2. Edifier R1280T This handsome stereo pair has wood veneer panelling that looks like it should be more expensive. They also pleasantly surprise in the audio department with a rich, bright, balanced sound signature and adjustable EQ. Measuring 9.2 by 5.7 by 7.7 inches each, the R1280 T speakers feature wood veneer panelling on the sides and a matte metallic finish on top. The grills are grey cloth with the Edifier logo at the bottom and they're removable. Beneath the grill, each speaker packs a 4-inch woofer, 13mm silk dome tweeter and a port to move air and allow the drivers to perform more efficiently. The right speaker is the only powered one of the duo, its power feeds the left unit via a detachable cable included. The right speaker also has an IR sensor for a simple remote control that has only three buttons, mute, volume up and volume down. The bass and treble knobs are more subtle than many EQ controls, which is a good thing. The drivers also offer a fairly flat response in the neutral default setting, so adding some bass will likely be a move many listeners will go for. Even with the bass knob fully turned up, the increase doesn't throw off the balance of most mixes we tested with too dramatically. You can easily boost the bass significantly and the treble only marginally and still maintain a sense of balance between the two. The connections on the right speaker's back panel included dual RCA inputs. One is labelled PC and an included 3.5mm to RCA cable works with PCs and mobile devices. The other is labelled AUX and a second RCA to RCA cable is included that can be used with standard stereo gear or with a television that has RCA outputs. Budget-friendly PC speakers rarely sound this good and deliver this much power. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. Number 1. Audio Engine A2 Plus The Audio Engine A2 Plus is a compact set of attractively styled powered stereo speakers that delivers impressive sound for its size. This new Plus version adds a digital USB connection, an output for an optional subwoofer to the existing two audio inputs, and a redesigned smaller power connector. The key thing to note about these speakers and Audio Engine Step Up A5 Plus is that they're bookshelf style speakers masquerading as PC or multimedia speakers, as these things are apt to be labelled. But unlike classic bookshelf speakers, these Audio Engine models are powered via a standard AC plug. There's no need for a separate receiver or amplifier, so you can use them with any audio source. The smaller 2 Series is more stylish looking than the 5 Series and looks less like a monitor speaker and comes in both black and white as does the larger A5+. Plus. The Audio Engine 2 Plus speakers measure 6 inches high by 4 inches wide by 5.25 inches deep. They each have a 2.75 inch Kevlar woofer and a 0.75 inch silk dome tweeter. Because the left speaker houses the amplifier, 15 watts per channel, it's heavier than the right speaker. What's kind of interesting is that they're ported on the front, there's a slit at the bottom below the driver, and when you're listening to movies, music or games, you can feel plenty of air moving through that slit. Since the A2 Plus's most significant upgrade from the original A2 is its built-in USB digital converter, we started listening to the A2 Plus on the desktop, hooked up to our Mac Mini computer. The sound was definitely up to audiophile standards, just on a smaller scale than what we'd hear from a bona fide hi-fi system. Luckily, the appeal of these speakers is that you can do without the sub. For their size, Audio Engine 2 Pluses deliver good, tight bass and offer excellent detail and relatively big sound, though they can't fill a room like the A5 series does. 
Like with the original A2s, we have no problem recommending the Plus version of the product. If you're looking for a set of compact, good-looking PC speakers that deliver great sound for their size, the Audio Engine A2 Plus certainly fits the bill. Buying Guide Usage Computers are versatile, so you may use your PC speakers when listening to music, watching Netflix, watching movies online, or even gaming. Thus, you may not want complete surround sound when watching a YouTube clip, but you may want surround sound when watching Netflix. Choose a PC speaker setup that's versatile and will fit multiple uses. Bluetooth versus wired computer speakers. One of the easiest decisions to make is choosing between wired and wireless. Both have some advantages that might not be immediately clear, but we're here to help. Bluetooth is a beautiful thing. It allows for the broadest and easiest connection between your devices. The more days that pass, the more we think getting speakers without Bluetooth is a mistake. New devices are going wireless, and you'll eventually feel the lack of Bluetooth if you require a more flexible setup. While not essential, especially in a budget setup, here are some things you should consider when deciding to go for Bluetooth or not. Physical connections. No matter what mix of Bluetooth, portable or wired options you're considering, you have to factor in the physical connections. The best setups will have a good mix of options. One of our favourite setups, the Harman Kardon Soundsticks 3, offers all the best connections but not all speaker systems do. So, before you buy, consider what connections work best for your setup. If you're a laptop user, optical connections probably won't work, and you're going to want to go for USB. However, if you're like us and have all your USB slots already occupied by an army of peripherals, you have to make sure you have a 3.5mm option. In this category, more is always more. Extra connections mean more flexibility going forward. Sound quality. If your speakers don't sound good to you, it doesn't matter how nice they look or how expensive they are. They aren't good speakers. The ultimate goal of any speaker system is to improve your computer's sound quality. They should amp up the sound on your gaming rig and potentially extend that beautiful sound to your phone, tablet or laptop. While almost any speaker system will be a marked improvement over your desktop, laptop or monitor's default sound, knowing how much better that sound can be is important. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.